Welcome everyone. Anthony DeMello writes about a student who inquires of his teacher, is there anything I can do to make myself enlightened? As little as you can do to make the sun rise in the morning. Then of what use are the spiritual exercises you prescribe to make sure that you are not asleep when the sun begins to rise? In the poet Rumi says, do you make regular visits to yourself? Today, I invite you to pause, a pause for presence. And a natural entry into presence is through your body. Find a place to sit comfortably, close your eyes, and begin with three continuous breaths. Inhale, long and deep, filling the lungs. Then exhale slowly, sensing a letting go of any tensions in your body and in your mind. Breathing in, filling the lungs, and exhaling slowly, letting go of tension, relaxing, body, mind. Invite your awareness to fill your whole body. Can you imagine your physical form as a field of sensations? Can you feel the movement and quality of the sensations? Tingling, vibrating, heat or cool, hard or soft, tight or flowing. Take a few moments to bring your full attention to this dance of sensation. Now let your awareness open out into the space around you. Can you imagine receiving the symphony of sounds, letting it wash through you? Can you listen to the changing play of sounds, not just with your ears, but with your whole awareness? Take a few moments to bring an open attention to listening to sounds. Keeping your eyes closed, let your awareness receive the play of images and light at the eyelids. You might notice a flickering of light and dark, or certain shapes, shadows, or figures of light. And take a few moments to attend to seeing.
feeling your breath and sensing the space around you. Be receptive to any sense that might be in the air. Discover what it's like to smell and receive the odors present in the surrounding area. Now, let all your senses be wide open, your body and mind relaxed and receptive. Allow life to flow freely through you. beyond any meditative technique. It's important to listen to the call of the heart. It's remembering what most matters to us that awakens and frees our spirit. With a receptive presence, become aware of the state of your heart. Is there a sense of openness or tightness? Of peace or anxiety? Of contentment or dissatisfaction? If there is something of particular concern or importance going on in your life, or simply a strong emotion, allow that to express itself. Whatever arises, allow it to be there looking at it with kindness and compassion. And with interest, ask yourself, if I got what I wanted, what would that really give me? Continuing your inquiry, you might now ask directly, what does my heart really long for? Could also be helpful to ask, what most matters in this life? Or if I was at the end of my life looking back, what would be most important about how I lived today, this moment? And as you pose these questions, sense that you are addressing your inquiry directly to your heart.
after asking, simply listen and be aware of any words, images or feelings that arise. Try to be patient. It can take some time for the mind to open out of its habitual ideas about life and connect with what is most alive and true. You may need to repeat several times some version of what does my heart long for? And then listen in receptive silence to what arises. As you listen, stay in touch with the feelings in your body and particularly in your heart. Your longing will probably express itself differently at different times. You might feel a longing to love fully or to feel loved, to know truth, to be peaceful, to be helpful, to be free of fear and suffering. There is no right answer. Sometimes you will land on an immediate intention that supports your desire. For example, you might become aware of the yearning to write poetry or paint. And this would be in service of the desire to live a creative, vital life. What is important is attuning to what is most true for you in this moment. The signs of arriving at a clear intention or a deep desire or longing are a felt sense of sincerity, innocence, energy or flow. Some people describe an inner shift that gives them fresh resolution, openness and ease. If there is no real sense of connecting with what matters, that's fine. You might sit quietly and open to whatever naturally arises or choose to continue this exploration at another time. If you sense that you have arrived at what feels like a pure and deep desire, allow yourself to inhabit the fullness of your longing. Feel the very essence of your longing in a cellular way as it expresses through your whole body and being. And let it be the prayer of your awakening heart. You can practice reflecting on your 
desire at the beginning and end of each day. And at the beginning and or at the end of a meditation. It might help to pause periodically during the day to inquire as to what matters to you. Opening your heart, listening, paying attention to yourself. into the core of your soul. If you are ready, bring yourself gently back following the sound of the bowl. The spirit in me greets the spirit in you.